As powerful as the raw filter node can be, there are a few filtering options that it cannot cover. For example, one single raw filter node cannot extract all sales from Germany or from China or from USA or from somewhere else. For this extraction, we would need at least three raw filter nodes, one for Germany, one for China and one for USA. So, for more complex raw filtering rules, the NIME Analytics platform offers a few alternative nodes. We have an example ready here. The data set is created in the table creator node here, and it consists of 10 imaginary people, each one described by the place of birth as country, the city of birth as city, the age, the birth date, and then the latitude and longitude of the city where they were born. The goal here is to extract the people born in the US. However, they can be born in the United States or in the US or in USA or in the United States of America or something else. So we need to implement a raw filter for being born in the United States or US or USA or United States of America. The node nominal value raw filter here allows to implement these complex conditions in the filtering rule. As the name of the node says, it applies only to nominal, that is to string columns. In the configuration window, we select to work with column place of birth, and then we select to look for United States, US, USA, or United States of America. Basically, this node searches the selected column for all the values listed in the included frame here, and then outputs the matching data rows at the output port. So let's have a look at the results. And as you can see, only the data rows with place of birth, United States, US, USA, United States of America have been selected. Another way to implement the same or based rule consists of the rule based row filter node. This one here. This node works like a rule engine node only that it outputs only the data rows that are true matches. Rules are built here in the rule editor. A double click on a column in the column list automatically inserts the column in the rule editor with the right syntax. The same is true for the operators from the operator list. A double click inserts the selected operator into the rule editor with the right syntax. Remember that fixed string values in the rule editor have to be reported in quotation marks, like in Java. The antecedent of the rule, this one here, is connected to the consequent of the rule through this sign here. The sign consists of an equal followed by a greater sign. Consequence of the rule can only be true and false. Rules are then executed from top to bottom and when a rule is met, the data row gets a consequent value and the rule checking process stops. All the data rows matching true in these expressions are going to populate the output data table. This is the default, which is this include true matches option here. However, we can change and exclude the true matches from the output data table and include only the false matches. Let's have a look again at the results. And then you can see that again we have the same results as before. Another way still is to use the Java snippet raw filter node. This node implements the matching rule through Java code. So let's open the configuration window. This is the Java editor. This is the list of column. Again, double clicking a column in the column list automatically inserts it in the Java editor with the right syntax. Here we write a simple Java code fragment to implement the filtering rule. 
And now let's close it. And let's have a look at the results. And then you can see that the same four data rows have been selected as for the other nodes. One more way to implement uh, the same row filtering rule is to use the reference row filter node. This node takes two columns from two separate inputs and compares them. Rows with matching values are included or excluded from the output table. The upper input port contains our original data. The lower input port contains the list of values to match in the condition. So let's see the configuration window. These are the two columns to compare, place of birth from the upper input data table, place of birth from the lower input data table. And these two options here decide whether to include or exclude the matching rows. The lower input table, which is the reference table, comes from this table creator node and contains the four values that we are checking in our row filtering rule. So let's have a look at the results now and we are going to find the same results as for the other nodes. So as you see, the row filter node is not the only way to extract data rows from a data set. 